Tewe na Ibrahim Rigadhi Gashagwa mchungaji Dorgas Rigadhi amesema muungano wa wajane utaweza kusaidia katika kuwawezesha kifedha akizungumza alipotayarisha mlo wa, wa wa sita wa kila mwaka kwa wajane na Maratima katika hoteli moja jijini Nairobi mchungaji Dorcas aliweza kutoa changamoto kwa wajane na uh, Maratima injini kuweza kujitahidi kupata uhuru wa kifedha nasema sako hiyo mtazamaji itaweza kusaidia wajane katika uwekezaji ili kuwawezesha kufanya maendeleo kama anavyokuwa taarifu mwandishi wetu Peter Ledama Dorcas alisimulia usoifu wake wa kulelewa na mjane baada ya kifo cha baba yake akiwa na umri mdogo. Anasema mama yake alijitolea kuwalea watoto wake wanane. Dorcas aliwataka wanawake hao kufanya kazi ili kujitegemea baada ya kupoteza waume zao na kukashivu dhulma zinazofanywa na wajane akisema kuna zera zinazoandaliwa ili kuwalinda. And I believe that every woman when you lose your husband you still have the ability and the potential to be able to work and become independent and be, be able to take care of your children. It's the same thing with a man who loses a, a loved one. And maybe she was the breadwinner because nowadays you can have women who are breadwinners and the men are also supporting. When you are left in such a gap, sometimes you are lost and exposed and you don't know what to do. But I'm very sure if you look around, there will always be somebody like Lady Diana who is trying to give you the voice, to give you a face, and to encourage and to tell you there is a hope for tomorrow. Katibu mkuu katika wizara ya utumishi wa umma jinsia na ushirikiano Veronica Nduva alibainisha kuwa kuna zaidi ya wajane 1800 njini Kenya kulingana na ofisi ya kitaifa ya takwimu ya utafiti wa kiuchumi ya mwaka wa 2019 hata hivyo anasema serikali imejitolea kupigania haki za wajane na kulinda haki zao za kibinadamu kama mkenya mwingine yeyote According to the National Economic Survey by the Kenya Bureau of Statistics 2019 census, there are 894,853 widows in Kenya. Just like Kenya, mil millions of widows and their children all over the world endure extreme poverty, various forms of human rights violations, including sick stigmatization, you've heard it here, uh, being ostracized, being homeless, ill health and discrimination both in law and in custom. Without economic empowerment and social protection, many widows are treated and children are treated as economic burdens to their families and by their families. They lose their rights and property to inheritance and that is why under the administration of the Kenya Kwanza in the president's nine point agenda on women, land rights is listed there succession spousal consent it's a key tenant that wakati wa hafla hiyo karatasi ya msimamo iliyoandaliwa na shirika la Come Together wa jana na yatima ilisindiliwa wakiongozwa na mwanzilishi wa shirika hilo Diana Kamande wajane hao walitoa wito wa kutunga sheria za kuwalinda wajane dhidi ya ukiukwaji chini ya haki za mjane pia ni haki za binadamu pia walidinisha mchungaji Dorcas kuwa mlesi wao uweseshaji wa wajane na yatima ni sehemu ya nguso chini ya ofisi ya mke wanaibu rais mchungaji Dorcas Yes there are many injustices that you are going on and I know now there we are we are developing policies as you are seeing that you will be able to protect and keep you uh, keep at bay some of those people who may who take advantage of you I will say this lady Diana as you continue to take care of these women I too have Nikiripotia TV magharibi jina langu ni Peter Ledamam